There we go. The tricky part about doing uh, Zoom is if you have a free account, it only lasts for 40 minutes and then they stop you. And unless, unless Elizabeth has paid, you know, which is possible, she may have an account with them. And I may have to get an account with them if, if we have months and months of this and uh, figure that out. But um, yeah, 40 minutes. Now the interesting thing I noticed when I looked at it is if it's just between two people, or three people, it can go longer. It's just when you have more than three people that they limit it. I wonder if, um, I mean, Skype doesn't have that kind of limitation. Yes. Oh, oh, it does with video, doesn't it? Yeah, and and Google Hangout, Google Hangout doesn't have a limit, but it's just Zoom has become so easy and it's recordable. There's a lot of pluses for Zoom. And the online training I watched while I was sitting around in a hotel the last few days, um, the Michelle Cannon said, Zoom is the best way to go. It's professional. You get the interaction between people. Um, she just really said Zoom is the way to go. But, you know, maybe we should look into other things that I don't know about. All right, I'm back home, people. Yay, I made it. I survived. Um. That was crazy time. I left in the first few days of March thinking my world is turned upside down with a funeral. The funeral was absolutely phenomenal and a treasure to be there. And then I went to Arizona where I was going to spend a few days with grandkids before going to the leadership convention only to have the leadership convention canceled and couldn't cancel the airfare or the hotel. So we ended up staying in a very expensive hotel for three days <laughs> ah anyway um but no leadership convention so i was so excited to have lots of wonderful things to share with you tonight from leadership which i don't have but they're they're talking about doing it online um the first week in april i believe so should be able to get some good information then for you so that'll be great all right and while i was gone uh I think a few of us had people start studies. I'm just curious if anybody's had any experiences with people on studies, positive, negative, good, bad, lessons learned, whatever. I did a supplement study for digestion with my roommate. Mm -hmm. um, it, it wasn't great. Um, he reported some nausea in the beginning, taking the LLV. Um, which I told him to expect, so at least he was prepared for that. Um, wasn't a big deal. He wasn't frustrated or anything. Um, but other than that, he said he really didn't notice much of a change. Um, so his problem was more about flare-ups, and um, I feel like that's trickier. Um, it is. In a Unless way. it's somebody that has an ongoing tummy issue. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his is very serious. Um, I think he was, they can't figure out if it's Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Um, so it may not have been the best introduction for him um, to pick such a severe case to try to address, but um, I'm still working it through. Is he with done with his seven days now? He just finished yesterday, but um, I'm still trying to help him with some stuff. Like he had a flare up today. Um, and then I asked him if he'd be willing to, um, once he stopped the study, to just fill out the form again, the daily form for another week to yes. maybe see if he noticed a difference not taking it. I like that. Yeah. It's like it's worth a shot. Um, especially after the expense of a supplement study. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> and I gave him a digest and roll on for, um, to help with flare ups. And just now when he had a really bad one, they, you know, I got a headache and everything. Um, I gave him just a bunch of digest and soft gels. He said he had tried the roller, but it, he felt dizzy, but he already felt dizzy before that. But, um, I was like, well, maybe the smell is yep. throwing you, so try to... Try Tamer with him. Huh? Try Tamer, maybe. 
the oh. tamer roll on. Okay. Good. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have experiences that people have had? Well, I, I just wanted to say that I read that if it's Crohn's, Leanne, mm -hmm. frankincense is very good for Crohn's. So maybe a couple of drops of frankincense under the tongue every morning. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. And I went to take two, I went to take a study to somebody who, I was going to the dollar store to buy a whole bunch of spray bottles to give away some on guard this week. And um, I went next door to Catherine's where one of my customers is. And I brought all four studies because I knew she wanted to do a study, but I wasn't sure which one. And she picked one and then she turned to her person working with her and said, so Jacinda, which one do you want to do? And so I got somebody else doing a study that I wasn't even expecting, which I thought was fantastic. I was glad I brought all four and, uh, got her contact information and we'll see how that goes. So just keep spreading it. Keep spreading it. I do have plenty of studies left. I think Lee has them, <laughs> right Lee? Um, I do have them. I just put them in the trunk so I could bring them down there tomorrow. Oh, are you coming down tomorrow? Well, if that's okay, I could drop them off too. Yeah, you. I just don't want you to come down just for that. So we'll, we'll wow. figure it out. We'll figure okay. it out. Um, so does that mean if we start running out of our packets that we can ask you for more? Yep. Oh, I'm you're the best. I'm providing them for the month of March. Oh, amazing. So Thank you. you guys want to I do. kept one of each, Leanne, so. I'm uh, sure there's still plenty. And I'm, and I have enough stuff to make more. So there's plenty. Okay. Right. doTERRA. Oh, Tuesday night's classes are going to be online until further notice so when I created it today for the zoom tomorrow night I put uh, recurring for the next six weeks so we're just gonna keep that same code for two so it's gonna get a little confusing we have one code for this meeting one code for the Tuesday meetings and okay. then I'm actually doing some okay. ones too but it should stay the same this code should stay the same and the Tuesday night code should stay the same if that makes sense so we're going to do that and I'm going to do a raffle of on guard or on guard plus to anybody who attends the class that is not enrolled. And that's going to be a little tricky because I just don't want to be offering an on guard plus to all enrolled people, if that makes sense. So if we bring some people that are not enrolled and at, at, then what I'm going to say during the class is anyone who doesn't have their own doTERRA account, I would love to give you a little bit more information and put you in on a raffle for this or this. And please text me right now so that I have your contact information. And then of course, if they're one of your friends, they would enroll with you. I just want to make sure I have their information too. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Will that raffle be after more than one class? I'm going to do that raffle this Tuesday for sure. And then I will, we're going to see how it goes. Cause I've had some people ask me for the code that don't come to classes normally, but mm -hmm. some of them are enrolled and some of them are not. So we're just going to see how it goes tomorrow night. And then I may end up doing a raffle every Tuesday. Cause because I know someone who would love to see it, but this is spring break and I've got a bunch of people out of town. Yeah. 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 Well, this I know I will be teaching every Tuesday night. We're still going to keep the people that are teaching, teaching is just going to have to be on Zoom. And if I decide not to get a Zoom account, then we're going to have to, hey, who's here? Make them feel welcome. Teach a class. Have time for questions. Make them feel welcome. Oh, time's up. Goodbye. I, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I got to figure out. I didn't, haven't even looked. I need to see how the cheapest, uh, anybody know the cheapest Zoom price? Yeah. Yeah. Did did you decide? Did you decide not to do the classes because of the 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 keeping it less than ten? Because we rarely have more than ten. It is very true. However, Barbara, out of the ten that we have, normally eight to twelve, most of you are on the older side, including myself. Yeah. And that I I got a text. That, that I was texting with Diane today. Yep. And her son is a virologist with the CDC. Okay. I mean, this yep. is his, this is his field. And what did he and say? He is furious 
with the CDC because they are not reporting the entire things that they give them to report and they're not doing enough to remove the fear it's he he says that they're they're really causing this panic situation by yeah. not reporting it correctly he's yeah. furious with this he's furious with his you know the people that are putting it out there in the media well we may be blowing it out of proportion we may all be doing that but um right now i know john and leanne have had cancellation after cancellation for people that have been wanting to learn recently and even interested in the business I've, I've had cancellations. I kind of feel like uh, we don't want to be seen as the group that, well, we're still having our meetings. <laughs> we're still going to do our thing. At least not this week. I didn't yeah. even announce that all the Tuesday meetings for six weeks were going to be online. I just made the Zoom calls available if I decide to do that. I wanted to keep the number the same in case I decided to do that. So, well, we yeah. I mean, that's fine. I just felt like that was valuable information he was giving his mom yes it was not to yeah. panic the panic stuff is so media hyped yes. that it's making him really really frustrated oh man yeah. thank you for sharing that yeah yes. john yeah so uh i mean i do want to second what Lara was saying about that um but i think that yeah but i think that like from a doTERRA perspective I think this is just a really great opportunity to reconnect with people as friends and just like build those relationships. You know, it's a good time to be charitable with our friends and family and just like check in with people, you know, and offer them like this free product. I think, yeah. I think it's an opportunity to really be generous. I agree, John. And I do still have several, um, soap dispensers and lots of soap so if you have anybody that you feel like you'd like to give that to let me know that's so good and i'm happy to share that with you the other thing i wanted to say was that i think that in some ways this is you know this is an opportunity to get all of our team like the broader geographical team on the same calls right like we can it's a reason or like zoom is accessible in montreal Mm -hmm. you know yes i have and someone so, from canada so it's, that's joining it's a way we, we started off by reaching out to our houston like people that we enrolled like two three years ago and um and we've been able to kind of reconnect with them and get them involved in studies yep. you know and we're and start to see like oh you know like from a on a personal level like they enrolled with my mom but like that doesn't mean that we can't start to build the relationship too. And so we're gonna, we pick that up and we're starting to do some studies with some people in Houston. And so I think that it's a, in a lot of ways, it's been a challenging problem for us to know how to kind of reconnect with these people. And so this kind of creates this natural, yes. like reason to Opportunity, yep. 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 So I have someone from Canada that's gonna join the call tomorrow night. And I just think this is going to be an interesting opportunity. I will miss the in-person too. For now, we're just gonna see, see how it goes. However, not everybody around here wants us to take them soap. So I even made a batch of bread today, homemade bread, because I know this certain person wants, loves my bread and I haven't brought it to her in over a year. And she turned down me bringing the soap with the Encore and the bread to her. Oh, wow. So yeah. sad. She said, I don't, oh. she said, she said, I just remember that you've been out of town traveling all over the United States. <laughs> and uh, when I talked to you earlier today, I, I realized that I'd forgotten that and I would like to cancel tomorrow. My apologies and thank you so much. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you think she'd take it from me? Well, it was Linda Lissy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you were, you were talking about. That's why I said you might. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, made me feel a little bit bad. I made her bread for goodness sakes. Okay, but that's I'll, okay. I'll <laughs> eat. <laughs> yeah, me too, Shaleen. <laughs> Turned out great. Now I left all my ingredients out so I can just keep making more, people. It'll be good. I will help you pick that wheat and I will help you grind that wheat. And, I will... and the little hen said, 
I did grind my own wheat to put in my bread, believe it or not, my dear. <laughs> you were kidding, but you didn't know I have a wheat grinder and I grind my own wheat. What? <laughs> you guys don't know that? Jolene, that, that seems perfectly in line with your character. To <laughs> so you guys are funny. Okay, doTERRA is out of On Guard. Sanitizer, thank you, Lee. I went on and checked everything. Sanitizer, beadlets, On Guard Plus soft gels, On Guard drops, foam hand wash, and the cleaner. They are out of all of those. They do the not need be more than two weeks to three weeks. So they seem to be on top of things. They're still available is the actual oil. I believe they're limiting it. Um, and toothpaste, mouthwash, and laundry detergent. Those things are still available. Not that that will help us. No, so Yes. Shaleen, this, this Melody. Sorry, I got, yeah, caught, I know. Out of, got caught out of the house. So, um, but I just listened to Justin Harrison's Spotlight recording, and I he mentioned two to three days. Oh. Okay. So I, I don't know. I didn't see official, and sometimes he just, sometimes he gets the details a little. You bet. <laughs> uh, so it could be sooner than two to three weeks. That would be awesome because the I I heard I think it was um Emily Wright and somebody else talking about three days ago and they said we are prepared for this and we are ready, we were ready for this, and it will only be a couple of weeks that we'll have things available. So I think that's awesome. Um however, today Emily Wright did another little video tonight and she shared the things that she uses to protect her system. And I thought it was very interesting because she said one of the things she uses is her yarrow palm pills. She yeah. said that, yes, they're for the skin, but they have frankincense in them. They have Melissa, which is one of the best um, immune support supporters, and they have turmeric in them. And I didn't know they had turmeric in them. And I'm like, ah, that my turmeric is my best friend, but turmeric's out of stock right now too. So it is really good to know. They also have, I just read about those. They also have the first, when you look at the ingredients, they have vitamin C and zinc. Yes. And they have celery seed oil and they have all kinds of things in them. Vitamin C, I forgot she said that, and zinc. Thank you. I'm adding And frankincense. They have frankincense. Yep. Celery seed oil. Yeah, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be talking. So tomorrow night was supposed to be the close of our study class, but instead I'm kind of kind of do a 101, a quick 101, but talk about things that will strengthen our immune system. So we'll be bringing that up and that'll be awesome. Um, these, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you a few weeks ago to stock up, but mm -hmm. I had already stocked up and I ordered a whole bunch more before I left town. And so I came home to this great big box of mouthwash and on guard cleaner and soft gels. So I'm the one that caused part of the problem because I've been stocking up. I feel a little bad about that. Um, however, I'm going to do a raffle and thanks for helping me come up with the idea, Leanne. Um, I'm gonna do a raffle at the class and this will be the option. After we talk about how wonderful it is, they can choose the on guard or this and I think That'll be pretty cool for people that are just learning about it. So, so but that's only for people who haven't enrolled or anybody who comes. I think we should, how can we do it? What if we end up with 20 people on the call and there's only two that haven't enrolled? I, I don't know. Well, only the people have who it. haven't. Yeah. I feel like any, so it's a new experience for some people who show up to an in person class. So it yes. might still be a challenge to get them there. Yes. Um, I think rewarding them would be great. And so if we do a raffle with everybody, go ahead, John, what do you think? Mm. Well, I was going to say, I think inviting them to come to the like Thursday class, right? You're doing the one on oils one-on-one -on, -one on a different night. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Wait, it's Thursday. Well, so, so, I mean, it's, Tuesday night for our class, and then Wednesday night I'm doing one for Jolene, and then Thursday I'm doing one for Jolene and two for Kathy and Houston. But anybody can go to those. So, I mean, I would say, I mean, I would, so the goal, the way I would see it would be to incentivize behavior, right? So we want to get people that are existing customers to come to the continuing education, and we want to get new people to come to the um the oils 101 class right yes. 
And so I would say we want to offer um, to the Oils 101, we want to offer a free gift just for showing up, right? Because that's something that's really good to tech people, it gets more attendance. Um, so maybe this is something that might be better for continuing education. Okay. But like, the but on-guard. The on-guard yeah. And then, it, but available to everyone, um, I don't know. Maybe the five yeah. wild orange or something. Elaine, did you get beadlets? I did. I have a lot of beadlets too. Well, so, yeah. yeah. Beadlets would be good for. But sending, that would be easy to send. Yeah. Or you, um, can, or you can send a partial. Like you don't have to send the whole bottle. You could still give new people an, a separate gift. If yeah. they come to your continuing education class and then have that separate from the raffle. And you can even do like, I don't know how much managing you want to do. Beadlets are way beadlets are way easier to mail than yeah. the hand spray because the alcohol in it is considered a hazardous substance and some places won't send it at all unless you have extra stuff on it. So I think beadlets would be way cheaper to I send. We have about five or six beadlets though, but that's still pretty good for me. I usually don't keep those on hand. So um, I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I really like, I like the idea of having a big something to give away at continuing education for everybody. And then if the new people, I'll say, I'll be sending out a little package, but I would, you know, with some gifts and then I could just decide what to put in there. Okay. It does say on here um, that the on guard products are temporarily temporarily unavailable, and they anticipate some of these items becoming available again within the next week. That they Sounds do not good. date. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I'd love for you to keep inviting people to do the studies, and um, I will provide those through the month of March. The spring retreat. So the spring retreat, we've had between 70 and 80 people attend. And today they came out saying, you know, we'd like you for the next two months not to have any groups bigger than 50. That's what they've suggested. And then I think the president even came out tonight and said, no groups bigger than 10. So Sherry has not canceled it yet, but she pro we probably will cancel. I... We talked today about doing it online. And I think the draw of the whole event is the camaraderie. It's the in-person, it's, it's getting your yep. little wood block, it's getting the ideas, it's hearing Dr. D in person. I just... Yeah, and it's getting to see each other. Yes. Can we, of those uh, people, can we, we only see them. Moon, maybe? We talked about that possibility, but the problem is it gets so hot that having half of it at the ranch and half of it in the hotel it, it, it really will be too hot. And so then we could do it all in the hotel, but then the cost goes up because then we have to pay for two days at the hotel. The, the ranch is, is very cheap compared to the hotel. So it, it gives us a way of only charging $50 for the whole event when we have half of it at the... And then we thought about just doing a one day event. So there's some possibilities. Just, just know that we're trying to figure that out. I wouldn't say to toss the idea of doing it online though, because I think so many people end up being at home with nothing to do. And to sit on the couch and watch this thing for like 10 yeah. hours or whatever, might be kind of fun, like different thing. And we could come up with ideas and ways to make it entertaining and interactive. Yeah. Okay, I will give your feedback. That's oh, awesome. great. How about if we have watch parties of about five to seven people at different locations we could do that i like that idea we would love to host something right yeah not? absolutely that's why we got into this business okay that sounds fun i'm going to share these ideas okay um diamond club changes so as of today i got another email saying not only because they they raised the in person of course and said they can all be online. But today they raised, instead of having to have four events with two enrollees at each one, that is also out the window. So now it's just 14 enrollments, they can all be online. I just have to meet them online on a phone call or something. It's made, made, and they've said that's for March and for April. Oh, that's awesome. Really 
making it as easy as it can possibly be. So this is a blessing. It's going to make it so I don't even have to come in person to meet your people here. We will do just a quick Zoom call or a quick uh, FaceTime. Just want to meet you. I just work with you guys and I just want to meet your friend. And I'm so excited to have you on board. We love the oils and we're just happy to have you be part of it. Boom. Then I'm the one to enroll them and we're done. And they go under you, of course. I'm just the one that types it into the computer so they get their free oils. Isn't that cool? I know. I think it's amazing. That, that rocks. That's good. I agree. So they'll get good oils. Okay. A couple of quick training things. Um, uh, encouraging you to upgrade yourselves. While we're in this downtime, if you have any downtime, use it to upgrade yourself. That makes you more attractive. It makes you bring people in if you're spending time upgrading yourself. There is so much doTERRA knowledge. If you look at doTERRA.com under the word discover, you will be blown away by how long you can sit there and just learn. Okay. There is so much to learn. Um, I'm going to encourage you to schedule a little bit of time for using your phone to text people. Now I know it's not, you guys might think, oh, that's a waste of time to reach people about oils. But I cannot tell you the numbers of time. Okay, I can. It's probably four. I've been sitting in a meeting, in a doTERRA meeting, and they said, now we're going to do a text blitz. And I'm like, Ugh. okay, who's in my phone? Who can I text? And they put all these scripts on the wall, and none of the scripts sound like me, so I'm not excited about it. And then I, I spend half the time trying to make up a script that sounds like me. Hey, this is Shalene. I would love to share this or this or this with you about the oils, or would you host a class, or... Or can I talk to you about the oils or whatever I decide to say? And I don't always get positive responses, but I almost always get them to respond. And if they say, hey, I'm not interested right now, I say, thank you so much for responding. It's so good to hear from you. I know you'll be ready someday and I'm going to be here waiting to talk to you. Or I'll say, you know, they're, they're slightly interested. Great. I know you're busy right now. I'll talk to you in a week when we're ready to do it. And then they know when I call them back. It's because they kind of gave me permission. We said, not right now, but maybe in a week. And so, and I'm going to, this is part of your challenge today too, guys. I want you to do 10 people a day. And it doesn't even have to be 10 people about oils. It can be, how are you doing? Do you need anything during this crazy time? I'm here for you. That's all. 10 people a day. Take your phone and find 10 people that you can just say, I'm here for you. I call it making a touch, just a touch. Doesn't have to be about doTERRA. Or if they're enrolled, please contact your enrolled people and say, please hope you're using your on guard. And if you're out of on guard, here's a couple other oils you can use. Just thought you should know. I know you have the oils, just want you to know. You're being a service to them. Give them that kind of touch if they're enrolled. If they're newly enrolled in the last year, then you want to teach them a little bit. Hey, if you're out of on guard, you could use your on guard beadlets or your this or that to help strengthen your immune system. You might get some of those people saying, you have what? You have stuff for the immune system? Wait, I can use on, I didn't know we had that. You guys just, you're teaching, you're helping, you're serving them by sending a text. So don't think of it as salesy. Think of it as you are doing them a service and please share with them. So that's me encouraging you. Texting 10 people a day for this week. And then I would love next week to just hear, did you get a few back? Did you get a few responses? Thank you for the information and appreciate that. Okay. And then of course, people who are not enrolled at all, if it's time, if you feel like it's the right time to say, boy, I've got these natural solutions that are just really bolstering our family's immune system right now, would love to share them with you. That might be the right text to send to. Okay, a couple last straining, straining, straining things, training things is to talk about this meeting. Do you guys feel this is a benefit on a Monday night? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Keeps your brain thinking in the right direction, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Keeps I love my thinking. Monday contacts with you, Shalene. Yay. I am so glad. You guys make me happy. So part of this, this, phone call, this meeting, I always don't know what to call it. Part of this video conference is for you to be accountable for the challenges. 
So next week, I will be saying, okay, I would like to hear each one of you tell me about one or two of the responses you got from the text, text that you sent out. So being accountable is you each having a second to give your input and share how the challenge went for you. You might say, I only did 10 uh, over the whole week. You may be admitting that, but we want to know how it went. Or you might say, I did it every day. I did my 10. I had all these responses. It was awesome. You were right, Shalene. That's what I want to hear. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Does that sound good? So what, what is the topic for tomorrow's class? One more time. So yeah. I'm going to try to approach it as a, about a 10 minute intro to, edu, intro to essential oils because we're going to have some new people there. So talk about the three, three cool things about oils, the three ways we use oils. And then I'm going to just talk about the immune system and oils and products that we can use to help our immune system. Okay. So it is a little bit different, but you can just brand it as we're going to be talking about the immune system. And I put the code for Tuesday's meeting in your, your, I sent an unusual Monday newsletter out today with just the code in it because I had a lot of people asking and I just thought, well, I'm just going to send it to everybody. So you should have it in your emails. It is a different number than this meeting. Okay. We'll look for so it. So we can send that code to other people. Yep. You can send it and forward that email to anybody you want. Okay. Okay. If you have problems with that, Barbara, let me know. All right. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to look up on Zoom and see how expensive it is. It may be the month to bite the bullet. I think Zoom is going to be the biggest winner out of this entire coronavirus. <laughs> it's $14.99, Shalane. $14.99. Do you know how many times I've turned down paying for something monthly in this business? I know. That's a lot of money. It is. The, the yeah, iTobies. If you look at the, the only thing that's th the only restriction, the, dif the difference is just that the 40 minute thing. Oh, 100 people. Yeah. But imagine how nice it would be to not be limited yeah, to not have to worry about that. Yeah. So I wonder, I wonder if I could do it for a few months and then cancel. Yeah, you can probably do that. Because that might be the thing to do, just see how much you're using it. For and I'm time. sure a lot of people will be doing that. I mean, I know I've been talking about that because he, his, of course, his space is in his home. And he doesn't want to have people coming in his home with his kids there yeah. for meetings. So we've been talking about doing using Zoom for our meetings too. So is this your boss? Yeah, this is one of my clients, one of my accounting clients. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right, guys. This is a great week to find a different way to reach people. Let's get out there and help them. Okay. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.